tell me your name and how old you are? My name is Abida, I'm 17 years old. Rehana Razak and I'm 17 years old. Shaukat Ahmed Lona, my age is 15 years old. I want to ask you a difficult question now, an emotional question about your parents. How did your parents pass away? How old were you when they passed away? First of all, my father died uh, due to an accident. After that, my mother, uh, two, three years after uh, my father's death, my mother also felt ill. Due to this, she died. I was very young when I lost both of my parents. My mother gave me only birth and she said goodbye to me and after two years my father also passed away. I know about my mother, she recently died in 2010 and my father, uh, I was just then uh, six months when he left. When you see other children with their parents, how does that make you feel? What are the kind of thoughts and emotions that you have? It hurts me but uh, it, makes, it also makes me to work even harder to become something in my life. I probably miss my mother most because when I see my friends, their mothers came and meet them. That's a very difficult time for me. If my par parents would have been with me, how luck lucky would I have been? And that kills me very much. Tell me a little bit about your daily life here. What's your favorite activity? What's your favorite subject? My favorite subject is physics and chemistry. Also biology, I like all of my subjects very much. <laughs> I enjoy my study here. My favorite activity is that I want to make love others and share the mimicry of teachers and my friends. <laughs> because uh, my friends, they don't have parents and me also, so I don't want to be uh, like, like an orphan. I want to be with them uh, like a friend, a good friend, not uh, mm, feel them their absence of their parents. I used to read books, story books, GK, some other things and go play with my friends. If you weren't sponsored, if you weren't able to come here to this orphanage and have all of these opportunities, what do you think you'd be doing? I would be grazing animals in, the, in my village because nobody was able to make me study, to just afford the studies for me, nobody in my house. I would be working in the fields and uh, roaming in the streets and not being in the good condition. I will be rearing cattle uh, or I will be do, uh, doing job in streets or in hotels etc. But I should thank Allah who has given me this opportunity to study here. Tell me what it is that you want to be when you leave here. When you grow up, what do you really want to do? My first ambition is to crack civil service examinations, that's IES. And if I will ever have a chance to do this, or I will, you know, qualify it, I'll just give 100% preference to this hostel, to this orphanage. I want to become gynecologist. Uh, I want to help uh, poor, poor women. I want to help as many people as I can. I wanted to qualify civil services. And after that, I should not forget that somebody was supporting me. So I should support other uh, orphans also. Tell me, if there's somebody watching now, and they're thinking about sponsoring a child, like you've been sponsored, what would be your message to them? What would you like to say to that person? They should support them, not uh, waste their talent, and they can change their life completely. They should do it because those children, when they are growing up, they will, helping, they will be helping others like me. I will encourage them that, they, that Allah has given them so opportunity that they are watching this uh, program so they should uh, support other orphans uh, it makes the, their bright future for their children and uh, Allah will bless them with more and more having met these children having heard their stories but most of all having heard about their determination their drive their ambition I have never ever been more convinced that the best thing that you can do with your money is to take care of one of these children, is to sponsor one of these beautiful children. But you know, these kids here, these are the lucky ones. These children have already been sponsored, but there are thousands and thousands more like this who need your help. They need you. So please, please, don't delay. Change a life today.